Mr. White, this is a preliminary hearing into certain charges brought against you. It is not a criminal court, but the procedures have certain similarities. You are entitled to a representative to handle your side of the proceedings. You may have anyone you want, a lawyer, a union official, or any other individual you may choose to represent you. Or you may choose to handle the matter yourself. I'll handle it myself, sir. Witnesses will be called. I will ask questions relevant to the, to the matter. You will be entitled to cross-examine each witness. The main purpose of this hearing is to determine the truth. We shall then make recommendations to the Ministry for their consideration. Is that quite clear, Mr. White? Yes, sir. And do you still think that you'd like to handle the matter yourself? I already stated that. You were a member of the school's track team that went to Trinidad. Yes, sir. You know Mr. White, gentleman sitting there? Yes, sir. Did he also go to Trinidad with the team? Yes, sir. Did he stay at the same guest house the team, the team stayed at? Yes, sir. What was Mr. White's position with respect to the team? He was the manager coach. What kind of rooming arrangements were there? The students all shared double rooms, but Mr. White had a room to himself. Did Mr. White leave you all and go out on his own? Yes, sir. Tell us what happened that night. I was nervous. I couldn't sleep, so I went to the toilet. Then I went to the kitchen for a glass of water. What time was that? About 1.30 in the morning. Proceed. I was on my way back to my room when I saw Mr. White come in. He went to his room, and in a matter of seconds, Cindy Trestrail went to his door and knocked. Mr. White opened the door, and she went in. How long did she stay there? At least 15 minutes. How do you know that it was at least 15 minutes? Because I sat in the dining room for about 15 minutes and she did not come back out. Then I went to my room. How long after this incident did you report the matter? A few days. And to whom did you report? To the principal of the school and Cindy's father. Why did you take so long before reporting it? I figured Mr. White might have gotten into trouble and he was always good to me. What made you change your mind? I got to thinking how low and underhand it was for a teacher to indulge in something as like that with one of the students. I thought he might try it again with somebody else. I took a few days to decide. You may cross-examine the witness, Mr. White. Do you find this Cindy attractive? Mr. White, I fail to see the relevance of that question. I'll ask another question. Did you approach Cindy to have a relationship with you, or you would report to her father that she came to my room? No, I did not. Do you have any idea what went on in my room that night? No. We could have just talked for 15 minutes then? Yes. Why did you remain in the drawing room looking to see when Cindy came out? I was not looking to see when Cindy came out. I couldn't sleep. Thank you. Thank you, Doyle. You may go. You were shocked to hear that your daughter went to her teacher's room. Naturally, she's only 15. And he took advantage of her. But you had no way of determining if this report had any truth in it. Not really, but I knew she kept a diary. I looked for it and read it. Yes, sir, it is my diary. And is this your handwriting? Yes, sir. Did you make the entry? His name is Ben White, and I love him. Yes, sir. And is the Ben White mentioned in the diary the same Ben White he's sitting here? Yes, sir. And did you also make the entry? I went to his room tonight. 
We made love. It was beautiful. Yes. Mr. White, your teacher, made love to you? No. No? That's what I said, no. But that's what you wrote in your diary. I know that's what I wrote, but it's not true. Are you in the habit of writing things in your diary that are not true? No. Everything else is true? Yes. But that one entry is not? No. Then why did you write it in your diary? It's what I wanted to happen, but it didn't. You said you love Mr. White. Yes. Is that true or not? That's true. You realize that if we find that Mr. White made love to you, he could lose his job? I don't know. You don't know? You're trying to defend him, aren't you? I'm telling the truth. You wrote one thing in your diary. Now you say you're lying. What are we supposed to believe? She's not on the oath. You will get your opportunity, Mr. White. But you are harassing her. I am merely trying to find out when this witness is lying and when she's telling the truth. You say Mr. White did not make love to you when you went to his room. Yes. Yes what? Yes, he made love to you. Oh, yes, he did not make love to you. He did not make love to me. Did you smell alcohol on Mr. White's breath that night? Yes. So he was an, in an intoxicated condition? I had one drink with my brother-in-law. All right, Mr. White. You may cross-examine the witness. No questions. You can't do that, sir. It's all right, Cindy. They'll destroy you, sir. I must tell him what happened. You have told them enough, Cindy. Thank you. Would you like to call any witnesses, Mr. White? Just one. Have a seat, please, Doctor. Doctor Reed, did you examine one Cindy Trestre recently? Yes. Yesterday, as a matter of fact. At whose request? At her own request. And what did she want you to diagnose? Whether or not she's a virgin. And is she or isn't she a virgin? She is a virgin. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I don't think we need go any further in this matter. No. Thank you, Mr. White. Thank you, gentlemen. Sir. Hello, Cindy. I'm sorry I caused you all this trouble. It wasn't you, Cindy. You're a wonderful girl. I admire your courage. Thank you, sir. I'll never forget you. I won't forget you either, Cindy. I'm leaving tomorrow. Where are you going? To meet my mother. She lives in San Fernando. I think your father was trying to protect you. He embarrassed me. Everybody's whispering about me. Don't hate him. Whatever you do, don't hate him. I'll remember that. Bye. Had nothing when she was grown up in her bed. And it's only because Tiny fight hard with she that she managed to reach what she reached. And I don't want to see the child grow up the same way. It's your child, man. And I know you don't want to see she grow up soon. Just walk up. What you doing in my bed with you, shut up? I told you to. Just 
Get home, Tommy House.